Automatic slats on a wing is nothing new. This has been known, this technology has been known since in 1930. In the modern application on private aircraft, the Helio Courier was designed in 1946 and of course it had automatic slats. We could say that our Pegastol is uh, Grandma Helio's uh, grandchild. All the flying sequences, two aircraft are used, one equipped with a Rotax 503 and the other with a Rotax 912. This first takeoff is made with a 503, it's a 30 degrees flap around position. Most takeoffs are made with a 15 degrees flap around position, and most landings are made with a 30 degrees flap around position. This will give you an approach speed of approximately 25 to 30 miles an hour. Notice the smooth landing that can be attained using the flap around position. Best climbing speed is uh, 55 miles an hour with a 15 degrees flap around position. In steep turn, the slats on the inner wing will come out while the slats on the outer wing will remain in. Your high flying right wing, of course, develops a lot of lift, which is compensated by the slats on the inner wing. take off in less than 100 feet. High rate of descent, slow forward speed, 30 miles an hour, 30 degrees flat. Landing in 100 feet, no wind, no brakes. Let's go to the shop. It will take some 200 hours to put the wings together, depending on your skill.
The plastic fuel tanks are made with a roto-molding process. 